It's often said a picture is worth a thousand words, but thanks to a new documentary series on PBS, some New York City-based photographers who have taken photos of some of the biggest names in music and politics are sharing stories of what took place behind the photo shoot. New York One's Ron Lee has the details for us. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous With a click gorgeous, of her camera. Photographer Deborah Feingold has proven time and again that she is an expert in capturing a person's soul and humanity. Among her most famous works are photographs of Madonna, Keith Richards, and former President Barack Obama that many consider iconic. Beautiful. And now Feingold, who is usually behind the camera, finds herself on the other side of the lens, gaining national exposure as part of a six-part series that airs Fridays on PBS. The program, called Icon Music Through the Lens, invites viewers into the untold world of music photography. Meeting jazz musicians changed my life because I never knew what improvisation was in terms of music. When Feingold was in her early 20s and living in Massachusetts, she fell in love with a jazz musician and took lots of pictures. She says learning how to photograph jazz musicians proved to be instrumental to her success. It was about being sensitive to what, who, who you're with and what's going on and being in the present, and that influenced my work more than anything, and still does. After moving to New York City in the late 1970s, Feingold's hard work and hustle eventually led to plum jobs taking photos for The Village Voice, Musician Magazine, and Rolling Stone. Feingold says while she never experienced sexism on the job, the road to a money shot often presented challenges. One photo of James Brown hangs in her Stuyvesant Town apartment and is one of her favorites, but taking it wasn't easy. In this particular instance, I was only allowed to photograph him while he was talking or taking a breath, you know. I couldn't interrupt it. In the docuseries, Feingold shares the story of how she got a young Madonna to pose with a lollipop. But one story that she is sharing exclusively with New York One brought us right here to Soho, where Feingold had a photography studio for five years. And I was on the fourth floor. Feingold tells me after her official shoot with Cindy Lauper had wrapped up inside that studio, their combined artistry led to an image that they both love. I felt like I didn't get anything that was really authentic of mm -hmm. who she was. So at the end of the shoot, I said, could you just put on what you came to the studio in and let me take a few shots of you outside? She said, sure. And I do love this shot. In Manhattan, Ron Lee, New York One.